On this episode of The Sequence, we're talking about how to mix your beats inside of the MPC Beats Free software. The Sequence. What is going on, people? So, a lot of people had questions about the MPC Beats software uh, within my initial video about how to make your first beats. And I do apologize for not talking about mixing in that video because you definitely want to mix your beats, right? So, that's what this video is about. And I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section yet again because, hey, I'm doing videos because y'all are asking questions and y'all are very interested in it as well as I am. And I'm happy you guys are. All right, so we're inside of the MPC Beats software. If you don't know, top right of the screen if you want to see my initial videos. And I have a playlist too as well. And it is free for everybody. So with that, I'm going to play a beat that I did the other day. I was testing out some things here. I don't know how it sounds. I forget. Uh, I... Yeah, that's pretty trash. But well, we're going to go ahead with it, you know. <laughs> Oh, but anyway, so uh, how do you pull up the mixer here? Uh, it's pretty easy. There's two different ways, honestly. Uh, the first way I want to show you guys is by hitting control, then the number six, and it will pull up this window. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this window uh, first is because it is very easy to manage in terms of how you would mix your stuff. Uh, so let me go ahead and play the track now. <laughs> Turn it down so I can talk over certain parts without my vocals being drained. And as you can see, if I click on a track, uh, it will tell you basically on the mixer where it is at. So, you know, you can see it here. And it's not really organized either, by the way, but you know, uh, to each his own. That's one of the, the cons, I think, of this mixer. But you can still tell what you're mixing. So, example. I hear that lead sound that has the looperator in it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is turn, uh, turn it down some more. Uh, I can go over here to it. It's called uh, the starter sound. Uh, there's other things, of course, there's other elements to it. If I look over here to that side, uh, I can see that I have a looperator right here. I can turn it off and you know I can turn it down over here individually. Now, uh, you can turn out other elements too as well. Uh, if I was to click on uh, the 808 here, I can do that. You know, if I wanted to rename the tracks, you know, since that's the 808 and, and I might not know it's the 808, I can just go over here, double tap on this and just type in uh, 808 and then hit enter and there you go. Now it says 808 and yeah. So now we could be a little bit more organized, but there is another window that I wanna show you guys. Uh, and now we'll see this, right here uh it the shortcut is crazy uh but this is the mixer for what it is here now this mixer screen is a little different because now you see your whole entire mix uh for those who have two monitors it might pop up in your second monitor by default so uh, make sure as you look over there if you can't see it after you do so uh, but you, now you can see where your inserts are i just turned off looper air if i turn it back on I can also go over here and pull up Looperator and it's gonna pull up right here. And it's a third party plugin that I have over here. Uh, and we'll talk more about that uh, right here. So what per se, now that I have this and I see all this here, I can actually minimize it too, maximize it cause it's taking up the full screen, minimize it. And now I can uh, navigate to different uh, views over here, but now I have to pull it up and that's kind of like a, a con if you don't want to deal with that. Uh, you know, I can totally understand, but you can minimize and maximize it here. Uh, and then you can maximize it uh, at your own free will. So you can get it back on the screen. Uh, but yeah. So what I want to show you is, you know, mixing a program. You can mix a program. You can turn stuff off in the program too as well. If you have a drum program. So, you know, I, I can um, minimize this stuff or actually mute it. Oosh, I don't want to use the wrong terminology here. Not at all. But 
you can do that but what about mixing those different elements so i can go back into the mixer here and you, and you can see the program right uh right there you know i can name this drums i should just name it drums boom you know just to show you that organization is key uh, i do my drums first anyway so now i have program one here uh, one thing i really notice is that you do have to name it over here too as well uh so I guess that has to do with, you know, the program. Okay, so it's not just the track, it's the program. But now that I know that, you guys know that. So uh, we over here and maybe the clap is too loud, the hi-hats are too loud. Turn on the hi-hats. I can add inserts in here. You know, maybe I want to put some reverb or something like that. Maybe I want to put a third-party reverb on those hi-hats. Or I might want to put Looperator on those hi hats because you know Looperator is the is the Schmidt for hi hat scumbaggery. One here. Now that I did that, maybe I want to put reverb on the clap here and I want to just use uh, something simple. Maybe I want to use air uh, reverb or something like that. Boom, air reverb, click on that, and then I have air reverb on there. Change the output width, the mix. Now that I have that in there, you know, I can uh, do other things too as well. I, I didn't mean to close out that window, but again, you can just go to the bottom left corner and pull it up again if you do that, if you're silly like that, like I am or whatnot. So uh, there's other things, of course. Say I just want to mix like the main melody or whatever, the main chord progression for those who are very technical turds. I can go in here, do that, and now I have that sound. Uh, I can go and uh, go over here to that particular sound, find out where it's at, and do that. But also I could do that over here, and that would be more idea if I did it over here because now I can see other things too as well. Like, you know, I can go into submixing, and then if I want to add different elements, I can do that as well. Uh, I can also pull up this because it is vectoral. And you can see everything at hand now that we're at the control six again. Uh, maybe I want to take out the reverb that it has. Uh, maybe I want to turn off the low uh, pass filter that it has. Uh, all at once, I can you know bring back the effects. You can see that being represented now that it's highlighted. Uh, can you order it? Yeah, you can reorder stuff, but then I just did that. I could just press control Z to bring it back. Uh, let me see if I can actually uh, order this over here. Maybe I just have to bring the uh, low pass here. Yeah, I'll bring it to a different slide and then just move everything up. Uh, you can drag and drop it anywhere. Uh, these are things that you can do within this. Uh, also, you know, just making sure that you uh, get to know the mixer itself. Also, you have uh, a way to uh, mess with the master, which is all this right here. So I turned that down earlier in the video, so if I was to mute that, then you won't hear anything. But if I was to unmute it, you can hear everything. Uh, also, uh, before I even get into talking about the master track over here, uh, there is panning. Panning is obviously over here. Uh, if I want to pan the, the, I don't know, the keys, so you can hear it in a different stereo. Now I'm gonna go ahead and we'll see here. I'm probably gonna have to go back into uh, the other mixer so I can see the program. Uh, there is a way to do it. Go in the track number one. Yeah, so you just have to get used to it. It does have a different kind of workflow. It's a quality of life type thing, I guess. Um, but you know, nonetheless, that is the workflow that is given to you inside of here and I just want to show you that it's pretty simple and sweet to understand so I'm gonna turn that reverb off
but yeah, now you can see that you can mix your tracks and have them ready to go. Master, your master is over here. Uh, you can go into your inserts and of course add anything from Dynamics that you want, channel, airstrip maybe. But overall, all of that should be answered uh, just for the simple parts of you mixing. So tell me how you feel about this video. As you can see, mixing is not really difficult to do. I've seen some people say, well, I don't know how to mix in here and it's kind of confusing and all that. Yeah, it's always confusing when you use new software. Anybody would be confused about how, how to mix in here, but it's actually pretty easy, pretty simple and sweet as you can see.